Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome to this video. So, as I mentioned in the other video about the, uh, when I was installing the trail hitch, I mean the trail hitch, it's been a long couple days. The, uh, huh, I'm, anyway, yes, the spare tire uh, rack tube for the trailer. Um, I mentioned something about the hook, so I'm gonna go over that right now. I don't know what it is, I'm tongue-tied. I think it's the heat, I'm not sure, but I'm definitely in the future. If I'm gonna to continue to work in this garage and not the one in the back, I'm putting air conditioning in here. No doubt about that. Heat and air conditioning. Love working on these cars, but uh, yeah. So anyway, let me show you guys. So, they basically gave me two bolts to put on. Okay, as you guys can see, this is painted and it's also welded. I actually had a buddy of mine um, weld this for me. So I bolted it on and then I also welded it. The reason for that is, you guys can see this one here. Okay, you see how firm that is? I did exactly how the instructions said, right to a T and uh, it would not expand correctly this is a very short part of the frame. And as soon as I moved this, this thing broke loose, spun and never tightened the bolt. And there's no way that I'm going to have this car being towed onto my vehicle, my trailer, and then have the tow rip right through the steel and end up flying and the car going in reverse. Not for me. So would I recommend this for someone else? Uh, not unless you're gonna weld it. I wouldn't recommend this setup. So, but I'm already committed, I'm in it. And uh, I'm one of those people that once I set my mind up, I pretty much finish what I start. Uh, sometimes it takes me a little bit of time, but uh, I do get it done and I get it done correctly. So I end up doing this. So I'm gonna put it together and show you guys the video once the bumper's on what it looks like. But I wanted to show you guys, just in case you guys, one of you guys wanna do this to your car, I would hate for someone to buy this and go through the same thing I went through. I have the right amount of, of people and they weld and they do all kinds of stuff. And uh, if you have that, yeah, go ahead, purchase it. Just remember, this is forever. Unless down the road, if you don't want it, what I just thought, I get a hacksaw, saw saw, I should say, not a hacksaw, a saw saw, and just cut it right across here. Nobody will ever see that. Bumper will cover it. End of solution. Done. If that's what I choose to do down the road. Um, if I no longer want to race it or, but my main thing was, you know, on the racetrack, something happens to it. I want to be able to be able to hook to it and pull it off the racetrack and pull it on my trailer. That's the whole objective to this. So, um, we're going to put the bumper together today and get this all done, wrapped up. Um, and definitely there will be a, a video on the Supra, hopefully next week. I'm doing something to it. So I am getting around to getting all this stuff done. I just been a little busy with work, so, but uh, that's not an excuse, it's just the way life is. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys, my buddy did a great job. Um, this thing is definitely not going anywhere. So we're gonna put the bumper together and uh, go from there. Trying to get this centered. Obviously, it's uh, very important to do that. Uh, 
have all my wrenches. I know you guys are thinking the same thing, right? How on earth, but believe it or not, the hook will just come from here, hook right into it. So, Alright guys, so as you can see, it got dark on me, I got started late, so there it is, the hook, as you guys can see I cut a V, so the hook will just, uh, I can say, Hold that there so you guys can see. We'll just come in here like this. That'll give a little. Hook will go in there. It's kind of closer than I like it to be, but um, if I had to do it all over again, I would probably uh, put spacers on it. Like I said, it's just a, I'm a, I was already committed and I was determined to put my hook on there. So, and obviously, the hook is not going to dig too much on my plastic, so it'll it'll actually do what it's supposed to do. Just have to get the right hook um, to pull it, or basically not even a hook, like one of those uh, ropes, those slings, uh, and just put a sling through there. It's probably what I'll end up using and not a hook. You put a sling through it, and that'll work. That'll definitely work without a problem. I'm, I'm thinking that's more or less what you use. Um, and I got a couple of those, so I just have to carry one in the car, slip it through there, hooks right here, pull the car right up. It looks nice because it's not like, I thought it was going to stick way out here. Um, I've seen it on some pictures. It looks like somebody just liked them out a little more. I personally like it right there. Plenty of room to put my hands in here and do what I got to do. I, I cut a little more maybe than I should have, but uh, that's definitely not going to hurt. It's pretty clean. So it looks... It looks really good. I, I feel that it looks really good. So um, without a doubt. But um, there you guys have it. The tow hook is on. All done up. Bumper's in. Got to clean up the front end here. I got fingerprints all over it. So I think I got like three more uh, screws to four I think four or five more screws to put on here that'll be easy I'll get that done real quick and then clean up the front end take all my smudge fingerprints off of it so there you guys have it I think it looks pretty good if you ask me I'm pretty sure you guys can see it there to hook us in guys I wouldn't recommend this unless you're going to be prepared to weld it on if you're not prepared to weld it on I wouldn't trust it the other way. Those two bolts did not look like they were going to hold it for very long. And it was just going to make a mess. And I was going to end up losing my car while I was loading it. So I wasn't going to be having that. So there you guys have it. So hopefully this uh, video was uh, useful and uh, knowledgeable for you guys who think of putting one on or thought of putting one on. I would suggest you uh, check in the market and check them all out and see how they're actually getting attached on before you purchase it. Like I said, this one here, if you're putting the bolts on and you get it welded, yeah, it's perfect. I, I personally love it, so it's just preference. Anyway, um, bumper's in. You guys have seen the video already taking the bumper off, so 
If you like the video, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you already have, thanks for all your support. See you guys on the uh, next video. And take care.